We are underway. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Looked like that body kick got home. Useful strike there. The hook is clean. And he blocks it. You better keep throwing those body kicks. Man, this dude can kill me 11. I'm tired of this year. That's a big strike right there. Right hand. Another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job straining the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Looks like that one landed. Beautiful body kick. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Just missed with the left there. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. While this striker knows one direction, that is forward. He knows one style, that is aggressive. And that's exactly what we've seen tonight. He has every intent of overwhelming every guy he steps into the octagon with. And he's doing that up to this point of the first round. Nice kick to the body. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg. Got the hook in quickly. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, nice move. The big strikes. Oh, that's a strong slip there, and then the rip. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to kill it. Well, so you the fight like me. The it don't make any sense when I start whooping your ass. You just don't want to be staying. That's just funny. They be throwing all them strikes. Oh, yeah, you doing damage, old buddy. Yeah, you whoop them all. You're dogging them, but you don't want to take that. All right, next round is now underway. Right. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Really pick you off your body. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, nice ankle pin there. His wrestling chops on full display tonight. Full display. And it also shows you, John, that he's willing to do it in any way, shape, or form to get to the finish line and get his hand raised. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. That's my favorite takedown. He got him with the ankle pick. I mean, an ankle pick. He hit an ankle pick. You don't see it very often, but when it's done, just like Kel Sanders used to do to me all the time, beautiful ankle pick. Fighters separate from the clinch. Mike gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. 
shot there and that one opened him up nice transition all right full guard here bottom fighter likes it top fighter figures to want to try to pass yes he definitely wants to pass or he wants to get posture to lay ground upon man isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat he's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat Under a minute now to go in the round. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. I just saw that on this one. He can't be fair. Masha. He's fair after the first one. All right, so here we go. Third and final round. Oh, and he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympians kind of like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that was in the night. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups, too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up this takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shots, and ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Oh, nice. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting him. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Landed a few big uppercuts. Oh, both of them landing massive shots. Big right hand. Beautiful. Oh, oh man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. A oh, high level mixed martial arts there as he works for the takedown after catching the leg. Now let's see if he can inflict some damage here on the ground. Nice straight right lance. Man, he's making these leg kicks count. Oh. Oh. Well, that smile on his face.
You know, it's because of the fucking demons, the niggas going against me. That's why, though, because niggas did this shit to me, so. Dude, the hook, high kick. Dude, the hook, right? Great high kick, right? Oh my gosh, and he went into right here. What a bitch. Post that whole fight. That's a way to have a whole fight. That's why when you break them down like that, it just leads to the nastiest KOs. That's when you see those KOs you'd be seeing in like APFC where a dude who did like the spinning back kick and kicked him in his face, knocked him out, shit like that. That's because they're so like broken down. You make one mistake, they're going to do some crazy shit too because they're going to be so on point. So fucking perfectly on point. And then you're like, on your last leg, and then they said, fuck it, spinning back kick. What? It's an AI into this. You're funny. Stop that. Oh no. Why did 